Did you guys enjoy that? Oh, for, for sure. Um, you know, we played some nice basketball there in the first half. Um, defense was solid. Uh, we really just shared the ball and played with great pace on offense, and um, everyone got the share in it. And it was beautiful to watch the. All the singing around, like to get folks like looks. Is that the style you reckon? Yeah, I just think there's a comfortability with playing to each other's strengths within uh, the offense, but like giving them some freedom. Um, so I think we've seen that over the last month, how that's just gradually building and Ty brings a nice dynamic to that with the, with the pace that he plays the game at. The Saints have settled in now and the offense seems to be working well with him now. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, but when you put good basketball players out on the floor and they enjoy playing with each other and sharing the ball, um, you know, the offense, you know, I don't need to draw up tricky plays. They share the ball and they play to each other's strengths, like Tayshawn Thomas's growth um, over the last month, like Brady, like the way we found him tonight. And I didn't call one f play for him, but we just moved and played with a purpose and we understood that he had a a hot hand, so let's get him the ball. So uh, I think when I have to try and manipulate the game too much, that takes away from their instincts. And tonight you guys saw them playing just purely on instinct. How enjoyable was that, right, for you? It was awesome. Uh, you know, we came out, we played hard. Uh, the crowd was awesome. They were going bananas. It was great. Um, just all around, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I think we enjoyed it. Uh, everybody got to pitch in. Everybody. Everybody did their part, and it was just a lot of fun for everyone. When you, when you, when you feel like you can't miss like you got in that first half, what's that feeling like when you're on that sort of roll? Yeah, it's good. I think we all had the high hand that first half. Um, you know, it was you know just moving the ball, getting those second chances, um, finish right in the lane, kicking. It was it was a lot going on, and a lot of guys hitting shots, big time shots, and uh, kind of broke broke apart that lead for the second half. Yeah, I think that that's a that's a mindset going into games. Um, we got we got a lot of different guys that can have big nights. Um, Fed Tayshawn have big nights. We have Bryce have big nights. Corey's had big nights, and uh, Ty's new, but he's he's been playing very well. And um, then we got Travers and Todd and. Mitch got plenty of guys coming in, doing their part. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, everybody's everybody's a threat in some way, and I think we have a lot of them. Well, I'm saying that tonight, and then you look ahead, and we got the Sydney Kings, who are the barometer. So, like, we got another. I want our team to enjoy tonight because that was a great performance. But the barometer is the Sydney Kings. So uh, let's reevaluate. And uh, this week we'll spend preparing for them. And, uh, you know, we're not, you, you, the ladder speaks for itself with the tightness. So uh, obviously we want to build momentum, keep building it because we're in the thick of it. Um, you know, like tonight we lose. Who knows where we end up with the other results over the weekend? The next next week's the same thing. Um, you know, so we we got to keep trending forward. But what I would say is our defense, when that is locked in at a good level, that allows us to play great offense. Like they, I think they scored 46 or 45 in the first half. But the the flow of the game was in our favor. Um, you know, so. Um, I, we're getting there. Are we where we can be? I, I don't think so. Where's the, where's the line in the final turn between looking after percentage and resting your starters? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a great question uh, in the fact that uh, the percentage is a tricky one to address um, because I think coaches and teams say, well, we're just going to win all the games. So then you don't need to worry about percentage. But then Monday morning when I look, wake up and look at the ladder, you go, percentage is going to play a part in it for someone. So 
yeah, it's it's a tough one because uh, the guys that don't get to play, they work as hard as the guys that get to play. So you want to give them an opportunity, um, you know. So yeah, it's a great question. Were you kicking the cat in a way that when in the last minute when you gave up uh, nine points in a minute, which is half a percentage point at um, the game? Yep. It's, when you're up by 32 and you're just soaring and then it comes back down, is that, is that the hard part? For for sure, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, we we all work hard to uh, give ourselves the greatest opportunity. But uh, yeah, it, now hopefully uh, it doesn't bite us. You know, a situation like that. Um, you know, so. Was Bryce ever likely to miss today? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I don't know. You'd have to ask the physio that was massaging him in the area to get him right. <laughs> he played pretty good, I thought. So yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he, clearly there was a, a resting his starters, but he, he was fine. Yes. Yeah. 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 Brady, what's, what's he doing on the shoulder? You've reached for it multiple times this season. Now you've held it tonight. What, is, is that a long-standing issue that you've got? Or is, is uh, just keep getting hit and uh, got b bothered early in the season and it just keeps getting re-irritated, but it's all good. Uh, I'll be good to go in the next one. All right. Thanks, okay, fellas. It was great. Uh, brought a good crowd. Um, it was it was kind of warm, but honestly, I forgot the I forgot it was open at times, but uh, yeah, it, was, it was awesome. It was a new experience for, for everybody. Uh, not, this was really cool to be a part of.